What up, everybody? It's your boy Chingo Bling. And your girl Bear Cell with the Deer Cell. AKA Mighty Soda. Yeah. Today we're doing a soda review from Exotic Pop. But before we start the video, shout out to the sponsors ChingoBling.com. That's where you can get the brand new merch. And of course, tickets to my tour because we're going on tour. Also, it's brought to you by Her Apparel. If you haven't yet, check it out, guys. Just dropped a bunch of Chingona merch. So go to HerApparelTX.com. Get your Chingona merch. Food in this game, come down on the swing. Food up, man, that's the way you be. Alright, guys, today we're doing a taste test review of exotic pop sodas. It's a soda company based in Houston. They distribute all kinds of rare sodas for all the soda aficionados out there. Alright, so let's start with the first one Big Hawk, rest in peace, H A W K. This is uh, an exotic pop release and it's a fruit punch soda. Uh, you heard him featured on Travis Scott and Drake's newest single. That nice soda fizz, you want to do the honors? Yes. This is Fruit Punch, big I already have a feeling it's going to be good, because it's Fruit Punch. A portion of proceeds go to benefit the Dead End community in Houston, Texas. That's where Hawk is from. He's actually Fat Pat's brother, also rest in peace. One of the goats. How sweet is it? Actually, it's not. Because this is 58 grams of uh, carb and sugars. 58. I've been sick. Please tell me you can taste the soda, Mighty Soul. You're going to have to sleep in, in the back room. Yeah. No, it's really good. Right? It's yeah. not like overpowering. Fruit. So, what's another example of a fruit punch soda? Um, hello, uh, Hawaiian Punch. Welch. Yeah. I don't know if Welch just has a fruit punch yeah, version, but Welch. Hawaiian Punch is, I mean, Hawaiian Punch, you have a drink and it's like, ah, Fanta, yeah, Fanta, but Fanta is just red. This is actually very good, actually, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it is. It's not overpoweringly, like, sweet. It's, like, actually pretty damn good. I bet you can make some real good mixed drinks. No, you know what I was thinking about this? Big, making my big red cake with this. Right? It's, it's fire. It's, I mean, it's sweet, obviously, but it has like a juice type of taste. Even though it's a soda, it's actually like really damn good. No, it really is. I'm not even joking. All right, I'm digging this one, Exotic Pop. Let's do it. Rest in peace, Big Hawk. Shout out to Exotic Pop. All right, y'all, the next soda up for today is actually King Combs Wave Juice. This is a uh, Diddy's son. I you know what? I actually met this kid on Diddy's tour bus, oh. and uh, I hooked him up with a bobblehead. How when old was he at that time? They were all little. All his kids were real young. The, the eldest was probably like 11, maybe, and that was like the oldest one, but the little ones were like five or six. Let's give it the uh, the good old taste test. I, I ain't gonna lie, the artwork, you, you can, he didn't really show his face. I guess he's really proud of his waves, and um, he, just, oh. he just wanted to show his haircut. He just wanted to show the haircut. I mean, the color's cool. We're about to find out. Yeah, this is 65 grams. Yeah. 60, 65 grams of sugar. Way sweeter than the than the red one, than the fruit punch. I'm gonna get sugared up by the end of this video. Um, so far, I really I yeah, prefer, I'm preferring the I big, prefer big flavor. Sounds right. Um, all right, both. maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I'm, I want to say it's like a coconut type of flavor. Cut candy for me. All right, up next on the exotic pop taste review, we have none other than the bar baby, Big Mo. The bar baby. The bar baby. The M-O-E unless you see it's the uh, Wrong song. So obviously they went with Drake. You know, a lot of a lot of people in hip hop, a lot of other cities are just now getting into the promethazine, codeine uh, epidemic. We've been on the lean in, in Texas. We pretty much invented that epidemic. Um, now remember, that stuff's dangerous. It's not good for you. 
But so kids don't try it at home. Yeah, don't do that. But uh, first of all, I just want to comment on the artwork. They have Frenchies, the original Frenchies on Scott. Oh, right that's here. dope. And then also it says a portion of proceeds go to benefit the Third Ward community in Houston, Texas. Oh, that's where we're that's at. Where we live. That's where we are. I'm gonna be buying Big Mo's all the time now. Big Mo's, nothing but Big Mo's. All right, let's give it a taste. Grape soda. All right, this has 65 grams of sugar, so my soda should be able to taste it. <laughs> I'm not sure why I've been the guinea pig every time, but... Purple stuff. <laughs> Purple stuff. Purple stuff. Here's some trivia. Uh, people that are close to Big Mo from back in the day, they know that one of his nicknames was Disco Dan. It was one of his little characters that he would like to dance yeah. around. I did a show with Big Mo at Holla Blues. Remember Holla Blues? Yeah. I did a show with Big Mo. You know, my highlights? My I went there when I wasn't even of age. You know what's funny is that. Shout out to my aunt who got me in. I hear a lot of females say that. Like, I've heard females say they were at that place and were not old enough. It's very dangerous. I was at the club one night. One night. I wasn't even old enough to be there. <laughs> You were saying between Hawks and Big Mo. Those are the two right now. They're they're neck to neck, guys. They're neck to neck. We drank damn near all of the uh, Hawk soda. Mhm. Mm but uh, this is very good. The next soda is the Bun B Trilogy Orange Soda. Very interesting. It says a uh, portion of proceeds go to benefit the Port Arthur community. PA strong. I like his artwork too. What do you like about it? I just like that it's him. I'm big. I'm I'm big in the face, like using the actual face. That's why I liked. I think Big Mo's and Hawks also. The Wave Guy. I just saw his head, so I just yeah. really wasn't feeling that one. Yeah, the Wave Guy, really proud of his waves. Yeah. Um, they all have a QR code that sends you to like some music. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's pour up. The gentleman that that owns Exotic Pop. He was telling me that um, when they did Pimp C's drink, he he reached out to Bun B to just give him a heads up, hey, you're gonna start seeing some marketing and branding <clears throat> about Pimp C's, uh, Pimp C soda. Just wanna let you know that like, we went about it legit. We dealt with the estate. You know, everything, sure. is, everything is kosher and up to par. And uh, while they're on the phone, he's like, oh, so y'all make sodas. I like orange. <laughs> and then they started talking and then boom. Yeah. The Trilogy Orange was born. <clears throat> Let's give it a shot. Okay, this one by far is the sweetest immediate up upon drinking. 62 grams of sugar. And it's good. It is, it is good. It's kind of like Crush. Uh huh. Like a Crush. Who else makes orange? Minute Maid or Minute? Minute? Some kids. Isn't Minute? Fan. Fanta Dove. Isn't there one called Minute Maid? Minute. Yep. So, so far, all the Texas sodas have been. Boom! All right, moving on. All right, y'all, we saved the best for last. Exotic Pop Soda Review. Let's get right into it. Sweet James Jones strawberry soda. They should have just called it goat. That's what they should have just called Is it. Is this Chingo's favorite rapper, guys? Of all time. Of all time. It's like, do not say not one ill word about Pimp C, because he will pop you Slap in the face. Slap shit out of him. First of all, first of all, if you look at the artwork, he has the gray Bentley. Smashed up the gray one. Bought me the red. He has the Bentley that he wrecked right after he got it. And then what did they do? They went right back to the dealership and copped the real one. They put that on the artwork, so. Um, I like how they put some Port Arthur stuff. There's like refineries and stuff in the background. Anyway, this is Sweet James Jones, Strawberry Soda. I'm not sure if he was like a, a fan of, uh, of, of, I mean, a red soda. But a portion of the proceeds go to benefit the Port Arthur community. Damn. So two of the sodas go into the PA community, which yeah. is great. Yeah, because they're from. <laughs> I know, which I really hope that pe this is people from the Port Arthur area getting use of it. Mm -hmm. uh, 88 grams of sugar. Oh, 
shit. So if you don't taste this, I, I already feel like a head high. I'm already getting a head high. Just from <laughs> I don't really know what that means. Like a head high, like the sugar, oh. like a sugar rush. All right, let's see. No, nah, you go ahead. This, this is your boo. <laughs> Pimp chat. <laughs> One day you're here, baby, and then you're gone. Maybe the next day you're gone. I'm a early cause ain't enough light in the daytime. Sip some of this and you be ready to rap. Church, what's happening? There? Let's see, let's see what Mighty Soul thinks. On the mic charisma, persona, this is already a five out of five. And the winner is no bias. Smoking out, pulling up, keep a lean up in my cup. All my cars got leather wood in the hood. We call it book. Everybody love bow. How they brow at the mouth. If I wasn't rapping, baby, I would still be riding Mercedes. You know, you know, Jay Z. Jay Z had to go rewrite his verses on his own song. Okay, I'm gonna need like, some metformin. Like, like listen, this. guys. Disclaimer. I swear to you guys, we do not own sodas in our house. The only kind of soda we have is Coke Zero, and that's because that's what our babysitter likes to drink. She likes so to up. this is really like out of our comfort zone, 100%. So shout out to uh, Exotic Pop because. Y'all know we love y'all exotic. We know pop. we love y'all because we, we do here not do sodas. If we backdoor, you know, soda. I'm gonna have to drink soda. like two gallons of water today. Not one, just so I can flush some of this sugar out. Just say it. Alright y'all, so we tasted all the sodas and I'm gonna go ahead and line them up like my favorites. Um I think Hawks Fruit Punch is probably my favorite. Um the just grape is pretty damn good. And then, you know, pimp and bun, the, the strawberry and the orange. And then, uh, this one, I just really couldn't tell what, what was going on. So, I'm just not even going to It's just the age talent. <laughs> but, but definitely, the Big Hawk um, Fruit Punch. Damn, this is delicious. Great, can't go wrong, great. And then strawberry and, and, um, and orange, can't go wrong. Well, how about you guys? So definitely this was not my favorite. Nothing to do with the guy who did it, the wave guy. Yes, I did Um so for me, actually babe, I like them in the same order. I actually like buns a little bit more than, than Pimp C, but they're kind of tied next to neck, very small difference. And they're, you know, they're the greatest strategy. Yeah, time. definitely. So, uh, but these two were definitely bomb. So in this order, I guess it's the same. Yeah. So, sure. rest in peace, uh, rest in peace Pimp C, Big Mo, and Hawk. And thank you guys for watching, and shout out to Exotic Pop for sending us the sodas. And let us know what else you want to see on the channel and comment below if you're curious about any of these flavors and let us know your favorite rap from your favorite rapper on here in the comments. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you know the next time Shingo drops a video. Thanks for sharing the videos.